D. Tegan, the founder of Founders Get Funds, an online savings club for founders. Check out our podcast for real funding strategies from founders for founders. So, the Paycheck Protection Program loans came out. Right? Where and to who? Small businesses around the nation are wondering, where's mine? In this video, we're going to look at some real facts to see where did this money go and where didn't this money go. We're also going to talk about all the other money that's getting pumped out into the economy right now and how you can get your hands on it. One, what is the Paycheck Protection Program? These are 1% interest loans from the Small Business Association. But those low interest rates aren't even the best part. If you keep all your employees on payroll for up to eight weeks after you've received the loan, it'll be completely forgiven. <laughs> what you talking about, what? <laughs> yeah, that's right. You don't have to pay it back. What these PPP loans really are, are incentives for the government to keep Americans working. Because if businesses don't have money, then people don't have paychecks. Two, how much money are we talking here? $350 billion were allotted to small businesses. But this is only a portion of the $2.3 trillion under the CARES Act. That $350 billion that's going to small businesses, or that was going to small businesses, is all gone. Yeah, that happened in two weeks. What this means is there's a lot of small businesses that need funding. Three, who did this money go to? Now let me pull up the receipts for this one, because Forbes released a pretty juicy article this week. One of the businesses, the small businesses that is, that received a $20 million SBA loan was Ruth's Chris Steakhouse. Yeah. And a lot of this money seemed to go to construction firms because they're now considered an essential business. What it really seems like is a lot of this money is going to businesses that would have been just fine without it and probably would have been able to keep their employees paid. Four, who is the money not going to? Well, there aren't any statistics on the racial divide between who's getting PPP loans and who isn't. But what I do know is that 3% of the SBA loans went to black businesses last year. So there was already a divide to begin with. Additionally, these loans are being given out on a first come, first serve basis. So if you didn't already have a relationship with your bank or a line of credit, you are probably out of luck or scrambling trying to find a bank account so that you could have access to one of these loans. What this also means is that black communities are going to be underserved for PPP loans because we're underbanked or unbanked in a lot of our communities. For people that don't already have a relationship with their bank, you're at risk to being targeted for predatory loans. You may get a call or an email requesting to lend you money, but you'll receive interest by the day or the week at extremely high amounts. Be cautious of these types of offers and I suggest you join our Facebook group as this is a common topic where we discuss what is a good offer and what is a bad offer. Five, why are businesses getting denied? What I'm hearing from people that have been denied, from people that are reviewing the loans, from people that are filing from the loans, what I'm hearing from the news is that people are getting denied because payroll cost is poorly defined. So what does that mean? If you are a tax, a self-employed taxpayer, what does payroll cost look like for your business? If you're someone that hires independent contractors or freelancers, what does that look like for your business? 
I'll be dropping a blog this week where I'll try to share some resources that help explain what this could mean uh, for different types of small businesses. But what I recommend you do right now is one, if you've been denied, call your bank, try to get details on why you've been denied, see if there's any additional information you can provide to get that loan approved. And I ask you to talk to your CPA. And if you don't have a CPA, you should hire one um, to make sure that you're filing the correct information because that could be the reason that your loan is getting denied. Now let's talk about some other ways the CARES Act is historic. There are unprecedented opportunities for freelancers and independent contractors. Now, if you're a freelancer or an independent contractor, you're eligible for unemployment you can receive between 20 and 50 percent of your previous income plus an additional six hundred dollars now every state has a different application i urge you to go to your state's unemployment website and apply as soon as possible as soon as possible now Here's a few things you may want to make sure you have in order before you apply. One, how much were you making in the past? What was your usual income? Two, how much are you making now? And lay it out week by week. Three, try to provide a P&L statement or a bank statement. And lastly, it would really help if you had your 2019 taxes filed. Now, I want to do more videos like this, and I'm thinking that could be a good topic for the next one where I talk about some good high yield savings accounts that I would recommend, um, as well as talking about ways to start investing in stocks and how you can still build a diversified portfolio if you only have a small amount to invest um, on a weekly or monthly basis. So if you think that's a good idea, um, like this video, comment that you like that topic idea, or give me other topics that you would like to learn about. Thank you so much for listening. I hope that you found this video to be helpful. I hope that if you did find this video to be helpful, that you will share this with someone that will also find this video to be helpful. Right now, it's more important than ever that we lean on our community, and I'm willing to do anything that I can to support small businesses at this time. So again, I'm V Tagen. Thanks for listening. Want more? Subscribe to our YouTube channel to take a deeper look at this week's interview. For our blog, go to foundersgetfunds.com. For daily conversations on funding strategies and building wealth, join our Facebook group, Founders Get Funds. Get to know us more at Founders Get Funds on Instagram and follow us at Founders Get Fun with no S on Twitter. Don't forget to subscribe right after this episode to join us next week for more funding strategies from founders for founders. Again, I'm Lee Tagan and thanks for listening.